we're going to, we've done weighted average and we've done FIFO, first in, first out. Now we're going to do last in, first out inventory evaluation method. Remember, this is not a follow the physical flow. This is a costing method. Like was used a lot in oil industry, by oil companies, and also by a lot of different other industries, but it's, it was mainly started during inflationary times. The last time we had huge inflation in the 19, late 1970s, early 80s, is when uh, LIFO became popular and uh, it better matched up the expenses with um, on the income statement what the actual cost of the goods were at the period of time. So we're going to use our same inventory. So we're still going to have five red items five green items, and five orange items. Okay, now so this time, for our sales, we're actually going to say, again, this isn't going based on the physical flow, so even though it may not be possible, okay, for our purposes, it is. Okay? We're going to assume that the first five sold were the last ones bought, so the orange ones are going out the door first. So our first one, when we're figuring our cost of goods sold, they're going to be five at 30, or $150. The next five are going to be our five green ones. So our five green ones are going out the door. So we have five at 20, or we have $100. Finally, our last two are going to be from our original, which have two. So we're going to take two, two at 20, or at $10, so they're $20. Our total for cost of goods sold this is $270. Okay. Our ending inventory then will be our three blocks at $10 a piece. So three at 10, our ending inventory is going to be $30. Our ending inventory of $30 goes on the balance sheet. Our inventory, our cost of goods sold, which goes on the income statement of $270, goes on the income statement. And that is how we do last in, first out. Our last video of this particular series is going to talk about what does that mean and how does that affect our financial statements.